Hi Tom, uh, Pedro at Large here. Uh, I'm not a presidential candidate for anything, but I couldn't resist replying to your video about why it is that America hasn't suffered any terrorist attacks or successful terrorist attacks since 9-11. Um, first of all, I think we've got to unpick something. What is the point of terror? What is terror? Terror is actually the threat of something awful happening to you. And it doesn't have to necessarily be actually carried out to have its effect. Uh, terror can stop people going out. Uh, terror can make people hoard food unnecessarily. Um, terror can uh, stop people from functioning in their normal lives. And the great skill of being a terrorist is having a threat build in the mind of the people you want to terrorize. And I would submit that um, if, for example, um, Al-Qaeda were to try and do another attack on uh, America, as they did in the London bombings, um, and if in any way it failed or wasn't entirely successful, then the terrorist threat to the rest of the world would diminish because they'd say, well, actually, we can handle this or it's not so bad. As far as the government's concerned, let's give them some credit. Let's say that the law enforcement agencies are doing a good job and are, in fact, um, nipping uh, schemes in the bud. Evidence that's come to court in England would seem to suggest that that certainly happened over here. But my main contention is, when you've done a big thing like 9-11, why bother to do another one with all the incredible amount of expense and planning that has to go into such an act of terrorism when people are just sitting there concerned that you might be going to do something that's even worse. So I concede the fact that we're still talking about terrorists, the fact that we have the security that we have at airports and so on and so forth proves that the terrorists are actually succeeding in their objectives to a degree. And the other thing on tigers, just an interesting fact about tigers. My grandfather used to take me for walks in, in Surrey Woods, uh, Surrey being the county where um, he lived in England and beautiful woodlands, uh, typical of English scenery. And um, it, we would go tiger hunting. Now my grandfather would always see the tigers. And I, who was five, six, seven years old, I could never see these things. And I actually got to the stage, I know this is hard to believe, Tom, where um, I began to wonder if, in fact, there were any tigers in these Surrey woods. But then years later, I heard a radio program. And on that radio program, it said that tigers are so well camouflaged that if you went into the normal English garden and there were a tiger in, like, the flower border, you'd actually have difficulty spotting it, which goes to show that my grandfather was right all along. And um, perhaps the, the, the threat, the excitement of seeing a tiger kept me going back on those long walks in those woods time and time again. It's the same principle. Sometimes the thing that we fear most or are most excited about is not really there. But uh, on the other hand, perhaps it is. It's just that we can't see it. Have a nice day.